Hey everyone, Paul Bowden here from the Microsoft Office of Mac Engineering team here out of Building 36 in Redmond, Washington. So in this week's video, I want to talk to you about deploying Office through the command line. Now, macOS gives us a great UI for performing many tasks, but sometimes it's really useful to know how to control Office through Terminal. You can use these tips as a small part of a larger workflow that you're putting together for deploying Office. And sometimes it's useful to know how to control Office through the Terminal, especially if you're doing troubleshooting with SSH where you only have the Terminal at your disposal. And if you're doing neither of these things, well, these tips are great for sharing at dinner parties. Huh, maybe that's why I don't get invited. So first up, how would we go about downloading the latest version of Office on a fresh install of macOS? So I have Terminal open and I'm gonna run the curl command. I'm gonna pass through L-O-J. L means to follow links, O means to download a remote package, and J means to use the same file name as the remote server. So I'm gonna type go.microsoft.com and then an FW link and then put a specific link ID at the end. And uh, now we're downloading the main Office Suite package. These permalinks are actually really useful because there's a unique identifier for every app and every suite. So if you know the ID, you can always download the right application through curl. So in my example just a few moments ago, I used ID 525133. And you can see from the table here that that is the download for Office 365 and the 2019 suite. As some of these packages are quite large, it's useful to have a way to check what version you'll be downloading without actually downloading the package. So here I can use curl with a different switch. Okay, so I'm gonna go bring back that command that I executed above and change the LOJ to just an I. And that just brings down the header and I can see exactly what the file name is of this Office installer package and it's 1626. So we've downloaded Office now. How do we actually install Office from the command line? So back to terminal, I'm gonna run sudo to elevate my privileges and then pass in the installer command. I have to pass some parameters for the package name, which I just downloaded, and also the target, which is just my, uh, my root. I need to enter my password. Okay, so the installer is going, and uh, you can see in the, uh, the window behind that I've started to get the apps being installed into the applications folder, and uh, now I'm done. So the command has returned successfully. Okay, fantastic. So we've got all of the Office apps installed. Let's uh, try and start Outlook, shall we? Here I'm gonna use the open command with dash A to open an application. And now I'm gonna just specify the full path to the Outlook app. Got those, uh, those screens telling me to sign in. Well, let's see if we can do something better than that. I'm now gonna run the defaults command and I'm gonna write to the com.microsoft.office domain and I'm going to specify a parameter called office auto sign in. It's a Boolean type and I'm gonna set it to true. Now I can go a little further than this. Uh, I'm gonna run defaults right again, but now I'm gonna set office activation email address and it's a string and I can set it to the username of this system. And I just encapsulate this with inside single quotes. Let's start Outlook again. And you can see that this time it skipped all of those first run screens and directly taken me to the place where I can enter my password. So I'll do that. I'm gonna hit the sign in button. And again, all of those other kind of normal prompts that you see, uh, they've kind of all gone away. I'm now connecting and now my inbox should render. Okay, so that's really gonna cut down on the amount of steps that the user has to go through and potential confusion. So another quick question. 
If we're sat at the terminal, is there some way that we can look at what build of Outlook we have installed? Well, remember that defaults command? Well, this time we're gonna use it in the read mode and we're gonna specify the path to Outlook's info.plist file and that's included with the app. And here I'm gonna request a key called CF bundle version. And I can see 16.26 is a long version. Uh, if I want to see the shorter version of the, of the string, I can just specify CF bundle short version string. Now here's a tricky one. How would I go about closing an Office app that is already open? So one command you might've used before is pkill or process kill. Okay, I'm gonna specify Pico Outlook, but there's an issue here. You can see I've got a Microsoft error reporting dialog, and that's in front of the user here, and it says a force quit was performed and it's wanting some information. Oh, isn't there some way that I can quit the application but without crashing it? The default pkill termination method is to send a, a dash nine signal or a terminate. And what that does is it tells the application that it has to quit immediately. And the app doesn't even get a chance to close down gracefully or run any code. There's an additional issue with this because sometimes you can lose data and sometimes if it's Outlook you could potentially cause database corruption because uh, the database is not shut down in this clean way. So I'm pleased to announce that in build 16.26 and later you can now forcibly close any Office application but you can close it in a graceful way. We can still use pkill but this time we're going to send through a hangup signal or sighup and you can now see that Outlook terminated and I didn't see any uh, pop-up here. I can also read the app exit graceful key in the Outlook domain and I can see that that is set to true. So it means that Outlook did get a signal and Outlook got a chance to close down properly before the process terminated. I hope this video was useful. I have many more command line tips to give you in future videos, especially around troubleshooting. So please remember to hit that subscribe button to get notified of my new videos. If you love this video, please give it a thumbs up below and go ahead and share your favorite terminal commands in the comments. Maybe we can all get together and have our own dinner party. Take care and I'll see you next time.